welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva, for those of you all that are new. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. I really, truly appreciate that. Um, and thank you guys for the donation. Those of you all that are keeping your girl booked and busy with these personal readings, whew, I have a lot. So I wasn't able to uh, get you all's video out as quickly as I want to. But at the end of the day... You know, I'm here for you, okay? I got your video now, so. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a, a good mood today, too. Hopefully, it stays that way. So, we're going to get into the reading. All right. Um, I feel like, Leos, um, right now, you all are trying to figure this life out, okay? Uh, some of you all could be looking for a place right now. You may have recently ended things with somebody that you were uh, in a relationship with or in a marriage with, or that person could have um, left the situation, maybe told you that it was over. And right now, you're feeling like nothing's going right. You're feeling like everything is a mess and that... Um, you're having a hard time being alone. I think for some of you all, you're having a hard time with the realization that it's over, okay, um, between you and your person. Um, these messages came through from the song by Avril Lavigne. She has a song called I'm With You. And there's another one by uh, Matchbox 20. Uh, they have this song. This is literally like one of my favorite songs. It is called Bright Lights, Okay. And I feel like there was somebody, for some of you, it could be just a small few, there was somebody that walked away from the relationship because they felt like they wanted to see what else is out there, okay? And you let them. You're like, okay, you want to go, you want to be free, you want to be single, go ahead and do that. And right now, some things in this world is what came through. Some things in this world that... They don't make sense, okay? Some things you can't see until they leave you, and then it's things that you miss, okay? Um, and I think that for some of you all, you're definitely missing somebody at this time. Um, could be you, could be your person. It may have been something that happened um, that caused these, this, this breakdown, this separation, and somebody's definitely missing the other person. They may have gotten out there in the real world, and they realized that what they wanted was there all alone. Okay, that could be the case for a small few. But um, the other messages, let me see what I have here. For some, I feel like somebody took advantage of you. I don't know if they took advantage of you or maybe this person won a lot as far as um, money goes in a divorce. Or maybe they took everything when they left. But it was uh, the messages that came through was took all except my name. Uh, some things in this world you just can't change. Uh, some things you don't see until it's too late. And I feel like for some of you, what you didn't see was who that person really was until it was too late. Some of you may have discovered that this person that you loved and cared about only cared about your money. Um, you may have found that this person never truly really cared about you um, and that this person wasn't as invested in this relationship as you were. And it says maybe you'll find something that's enough to keep you. But if the bright lights don't receive you, you can turn yourself around and come on home. So some of you all are letting this person go. But a part of you is like, I know you're going to get out there in this world, maybe entertain other people. But then you're going to end up finding out that the best thing you had was what you left behind. And by the time you come back, it may be too late. Okay. And... Right now, it's a, there's a lot of pain, I feel like, for some of you. There's like a, he mentions in the song, there's a hole in my heart. There's a scar that I can't talk about. I feel like sometimes um, with Leos, there's a lot of pride. Some of you may hurt a lot on the inside, but you're not showing people. Some of you may be putting a lot of focus on work because this person left. And I feel, I feel like that hole for some of you is a lot bigger than you thought that it was going to be. I uh, that you didn't think this that somebody could hurt you as much as they did and I feel there's an energy of why didn't I see this sooner? Why didn't I see this sooner? There's one or two things that that could be going on. Why didn't I see this sooner? what this person meant to me or why didn't I say it sooner that this person wasn't meant for me or the two energies um, that I'm getting. I feel like you all, what you want more than anything is you want love, not just physical, not just surface level. I feel like you all want deep, 
passionate, unconditional love from someone. And there's a song by The Weeknd, and it's called You Earned It, okay? And in this song, the intuitive messages that came out is, you make it look like it's magic. I see nobody but you. I'm so used to being used. There could be somebody new that is in your energy, somebody that you are maybe getting to know, somebody that you really probably want to reach out to, but you're afraid to do so because I don't know, there could have been something where you met this person in the past, but you have a fear that this relationship will be tragic or maybe you feel something for this person. This person may not feel the same way about you. So I feel like some of you all, this uh, of course is a general love reading. Okay. It's not going to resonate with every single uh, Leo out there. However, um, if it does resonate with you, I really appreciate Appreciate a thumbs up, you know, um, definitely show love if it's resonating for you. But I feel like for some of you all, there's there's somebody out there that you want, but you're not sure what, if whether or not this relationship would be unrequited, meaning that you're the only one that has uh, these feelings. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't pay you any mind. But um, for what I feel like is the majority of you all, you feel like you've been living in lies, basically. And... You are tired of being lonely, all right? You're tired of relationships where um, things end up just broken. You don't end up happy with this person. And there is somebody I feel that is coming towards you. For those of you all that are looking for new love, trust me, it is there. I feel like this is an energy of, I'm going to care for you. You earned it. I feel like for some of you all, you've put up with so much that that good karma is finally coming back to you and it's coming back to you in a form of real unconditional passionate love that I feel that some of you all are desiring. It says you make it look like it's magic. I see nobody but you. This is somebody that's going to have all of your attention or this could be somebody currently. They have all of your attention. And for some of you, it may be hard to kind of push forward with this person. You may feel like it's magic, like it's not real. And that's because you're so used to being used by people. I feel like some of you all have been used so much to the point where you're afraid of something that you you listed as like, no, I don't believe that this situation is too perfect. I don't think that this person wants this. But the truth of the matter is, Leos, you're worth it. You deserve it. You earned it. Okay. I feel like this is the overall of this message is that you've earned it. Okay. Stop convincing yourself that you're broken. You are not broken. You are in a broken relationship. And now it's time for you to move on to something better. Okay. I feel like sometimes your loyalty you can be loyal to a fault. Like you can be loyal to the ones that are not loyal to you, okay? To giving of yourself. And because of this, this is how you end up in these toxic relationships where they're one-sided and the person ends up for some leaving for what they think is greener pastures. So I went ahead and of course I mixed and pulled the cards while I was talking about this. But I feel like for some of you all, you have the heaven card here. I feel like for some of you all, there's going to be some major life changes. Definitely some major life changes when it comes to love. I feel like a lot of you are questioning love right now. You're questioning everything at this moment. And this is also the card of a sign that there is someone that's passed on. All right. That's nudging you towards something different. That's wanting to see you um Wanting to see you not be hurt, constantly hurt. So if there's someone that's passed on and you feel like that person is connecting to you at that time, then yes, this is that double confirmation that this person is. It's like love doesn't hurt, okay? You can't love somebody out of their issues, okay? Only thing that you can do is love yourself whole and then there will be someone that will come in that will be whole and the two of you all can be whole together. Other than that, you're just going to end up in these karmic relationships where somebody keeps just taking you through the ringer until eventually you become bitter and hate even being in relationships. I feel like this is a time in which you all should lean on your friends. They're going to be your biggest support systems. They're going to help you through. I feel like some of you all have friends around you that give you that straight up advice, okay? That advice, they're going to tell it like it is, all right? You know that this person is not going to sugarcoat, all right? So definitely have stay around those people. Those are the ones that are going to help you through this period because I do feel like this is a very tough period for some of you all where you're questioning everything. And let me tell you, there is something good that is going to come out of all of this, okay? Right now it hurts, 
but there's something good that's coming out of this. All right. This is a time of forgiveness. All right. This is a time of forgiveness. It could be somebody, like I said, the person that thought that the, the <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure what happened, but my camera just failed. So <laughs> Now, we were talking about the forgiveness card, okay? It could be that this person may come back and ask for your forgiveness, all right? Or this could be a situation where you're going to have to learn to forgive yourself, okay? Forgive yourself um, for being in those relationships, for choosing those certain people, okay? Forgive yourself for not putting yourself forward, you know, putting yourself first in a situation or forgive yourself for not walking away sooner, okay? There's definitely some type of forgiveness that is going to go there, I feel like there is going to be something where you're going to put a lot of focus on you, okay? Taking care of yourselves um, from the inside out, all right? You have the beauty card here. And also, there's definitely, for some of you, that's definitely love coming, all right? You have the love card. I feel like there is going to be love coming, love in this, um, from your friends. I feel like there's going to be loving relationship that is coming towards you. But most importantly, I think that for some of you all that are having some issues, you're going to learn to love yourself. All right, you have the high priestess here, all right? You have the high priestess of air. And so with this, this is all about having rational thought, uh, reasonable conversations, and to make calculated decisions, okay? You are gonna start making decisions based on what it is you want, not what everybody else wants. Not having everybody else in your ear try to dictate how you should live your life, okay? Definitely gonna be a time where I feel like for some of you all, you're gonna put your foot down. Where it's like, yeah, I accept your apology, but am I going back? Hell no, I'm not going back. But you know, thank you for your lesson, okay? Somebody taught you something and you're taking that with you. And you're making sure that in the next relationship, you'll get somebody and that is deserving of you, all right? Not somebody that's going to take advantage of you. Okay, let's put this down and get to, <clears throat> let's get to the intuitive messages, okay? Now, this past person energy may come through, but um, I strongly feel like there is definitely somebody new that's coming in for you all as well. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages, please. What needs to come through? What needs to come through for the Leo at this time? Ooh, okay. We're going to keep the ones that just slipped and slid. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, a lot of messages here. And guess what? We're going to read every last one. When I tell you, this is exactly, you know it. Some of you all know this person out here thinking that they're going on to greater pastors, thinking that this person is going to be better than you or this situation is going to be better. And you're like, Psh, you'll be back. <laughs> you're going to bring your ass right back over here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be happy times, all right? I feel like for some of you all that may be going through depression at this time or trying to figure everything out, there's definitely happy times that are coming towards you. Oh, and new beginnings. Oh my goodness, the full card energy. I'm telling you, you all are stepping out on faith. Once again, there's a second card, okay? This is the high priestess of air, also signifying the fool, the new beginnings and making decisions that are best for you. I definitely feel like, well, some of y'all could actually be moving on with an air sign, could be an Aquarius, could be a Libra, could be a Gemini um, that is coming towards you in your future. But whatever the case may be, things are definitely looking up. I feel like this is something that you all are no longer dealing with. All right, having these friends with benefit relationship, these superficial relationships that never seem to go anywhere, um, is something that you all are going to be cutting out. I feel like the energy around you all at this time is the sword energy, okay? You're cutting out the BS, cutting out the superficial, cutting out what does not serve you, okay? A very good time, I feel, for the Leos. Wondering if I'll ever see you again. Yeah, the past person, the one that you know will be back, is the one that's getting out there. All right, some of you, or it could be your person, has childhood wounds that, that are not healed, okay? So if you have childhood issues, this is something that you need to be working on, all right? This is the best time. When you go through pain, this is the best time to figure out, you know what? What is it in my life? What is the pattern that keeps causing me to go to these superficial relationships looking for love, okay? And that is the result. 
of not having childhood issues uh, healed. Could be that you have issues with your mom or your dad or maybe the first relationship. It's just like you started sensing a pattern of the type of people that you attract. So um, definitely a time to um, look for that. I feel like this is a thing. Some of you all, you mistake these this emotional sex that you're having with somebody as somebody having feelings for you. When really what this person is doing, of course, is getting their rocks off. Yeah, being in secretive relationships where you can't tell anybody, okay? Why can't we tell somebody? This is something that I truly feel like a lot of you are like, I'm done with this. I can't keep putting my heart through this because being a very loyal and caring person, I feel like also with that fire energy, it makes you excited and wanting to jump into things. But now it's time for you to really take a step back and trust your intuition. <laughs> porn star whatever the case may be this person that's coming towards you the one that you want to settle down with this is going to be the one <laughs> you're going to be like i can't even believe that i dealt with all that stress from these people in the past yeah very stressful situations that you were put in with people in these unhealthy relationships there is somebody out here the person that's coming towards you says don't change this person likes you just the way you are they don't feel like there's anything about you that needs to be fixed yeah, I feel like, oh my goodness. This was the first thought when I turned the camera on after looking at those intuitive messages. Some of you all attract gold diggers like magnets. And a part of it could be because of the fact that Leos are very flashy, um, stereotypically very flashy and, you know, very boastful, very confident, you know, usually very hard workers that usually have uh, enough money coming in and out to where you attract gold diggers like, like bees to honey. Okay. So definitely something to look out for in the future. All right. Please pay attention to those red flags. All right. Oh, you can't make this up. Leo's distance yourself from the gold diggers. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke one. Okay. Attracted to you like bees to honey. I'm telling you run away. Dirty. Okay. Whoever this is. Oh, you know what? For some of you all, that person that wants to come back, Mr. or Mrs. Bright Lights, run like hell, okay? If you are dealing with somebody that distanced themselves from you, okay? They wanted to run out there and see what life had to bring them. And you know this person always was wanting money or you know they love money. Be careful. This person could be coming back dirty, okay? This is somebody that could be having unprotected sex with people, all right? And then they come back and they give you the gift that keeps on giving, be very careful because you don't want to end up, you know, with an STD. I'm just saying. I am blessed to have known you. Yeah, this person may have been blessed to have known you, but this person didn't appreciate you. At the end of the day, you need to decipher what is love and what is somebody just gaslighting me? Who's breadcrumbing me? Um, September could have a very significant meaning for some of you all, or it could be that this person or your future person could be a Virgo or this person could be, if I'm not mistaken, I think early, no, late September is Libra. Okay. So it could be Virgo or Libra. If I'm incorrect, please let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm going, going with these messages. All right. So, ooh. uh huh. Too much pride. Y'all got to let go of that pride, too much pride, put that pride to the side. I feel like for some of you all, you have an apology or you need to ask somebody for forgiveness, but you have too much pride to come towards this person. I feel like for some of you all, this is somebody that you have a lot of love for, somebody that you can see a potential relationship with, or maybe you had a relationship with them in the past. All right. This is just for a select few of you. All right. I feel like your pride is getting in the way of something that could be great. All right. Just a special message for those who need it. The person you could be dealing with could have a Capricorn moon or you could have a Capricorn moon. Something could have happened uh, during this Mercury retrograde. Uh, it's still going. OK, so it doesn't mean uh, so that means that something could happen now or during the uh, the shadow period. Oh, a year from now. OK, so maybe the next retrograde, something could be happening. Someone has the initial H. Could be you, could be your person. Who is that gold digger is what I want to know. Look at that. Leo coming up in your own reading. Some of you all could be involved with another Leo. Okay, or it could be another Leo that is coming towards you. 
I feel like for you all, you need to start working on your self-esteem at this time, especially for those of you that have recently uh, broken up with someone or had someone break up with you. This is a time where you need to heal yourself. Man, when I tell you my cards don't be playing. Who got these daddy issues? Somebody... I, didn't I say somebody has mommy or daddy issues that they need to work on because their childhood wounds have not healed? You, if it's, if it's not you and it's your person, please understand you cannot fix them. You are not their therapist. You can give somebody support. You can suggest where they can go to get help. But if that person is not willing to accept the help, they're going to keep on making their issues your issue. Oh, some of you all could have been dealing with a Capricorn that has daddy issues. All right. Could be a Capricorn that's coming towards you. Bam. <laughs> One thing about it, baby. Good days are ahead. I'm telling you, you guys got good days ahead. You got happy times. You got new beginnings. I truly feel like for a majority of you all, you all are stepping into something new, whether that's a new place, a new relationship, a new job, a new business, Whatever the case may be, a new car, things are definitely looking up for the Leos. I love happy readings. Oh, it makes me happy. Oh, <laughs> I just said I love happy readings. Some of you all are very goofy. I think this is why I can't stop laughing and why I feel hype. Or I don't know, it could be that um, <laughs> it could be that Dunkin' Donuts coffee I had uh, right before I started filming this video. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, I'm in a good, good mood. I hope you all are too. Never let anything or anybody keep you down for long, okay? Keep going. Keep going. I do not like negative people. Mm -mm, stay over there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, some past energy first. I know some of y'all are rolling your eyes, but whatever. <laughs> and then we'll take a look at what's coming positively, okay? Because the thing is, is that if you don't address the past and you constantly go on to next relationships and you don't figure out what went wrong the first time around, then that's how you keep going through that same cycle, Leos, okay? How you get out of something is you learn from it, okay? When you learn from it, you put practice into it. Then you start focusing on self so that you can pull somebody towards you that is divinely guided for you, okay? So let's take a look at these unspoken love messages of this Mr. or Mrs. Bright Lights, okay? Who thought things were greener on the other side. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. What does the person have to say at this time? What does the Leo person have to say? Some of you all are definitely dealing with Capricorns, I feel it. All right, we're going to pull from the Island Time Wellness as well. If you guys are interested in any of the cards that you see here, you can find them down below in the description box. And um, like I said, I have Oracle and everything that's down there uh, if you guys are interested in learning about tarot. Okay. All right, we're going to also pull from the Erotic Sex Oracle card deck. Hey, what does the Leo need to know most at this time, please? What does the Leo need to know? Mm-hmm. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> when you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You can see a side of me others don't. I can't hide from you. You are always in my dreams. Judgment. I'm making a decision once and for all to turn this all around. Then I tell you somebody wants to come back. I hope we can come back together to pick up where we left off. You can't make this up. <laughs> Wow, last card. You got to be kidding me. It says, sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. See, you had to leave to go figure that out. Some of you all are willing to take this person back. Some of you all are like, you know what? You left, stay gone. You stay right on over there. You and your new beginnings. <laughs> 
Yeah, I feel like for some of you all, you were constantly finding yourself in third party uh, energies with a person that was hooking up with others or very easily tempted by others. Okay, because you have the seduction card here, somebody that can easily seduce you. All right, I feel like a lot of you all definitely recently gained a lot of clarity and truth. Okay, and I feel like for some of you with that heaven card, I'm telling you, it comes right back to it. There's somebody around you that's passed on. Okay, it could be your angels or somebody, it could be God. I'm telling you, there's some there's something around you, all right, spiritually, that is keeping you protected from this person. Okay. You think about being protected from something and think about the dirty card that came through. They're protecting you from this person because this person is out here doing everything under the sun, but they're going to come back to you and they're going to tell you that you're the only one for them. Okay. This is a, a situation in which is very codependent. All right. This is somebody that has fear of abandonment issues. Okay. And you find yourself constantly running behind someone who's not healthy. All right, very codependent relationship, a person that can't be alone. So therefore they entertain others in order to make them feel happy about themselves. This person needs to heal. This person needs to work on their self-worth. Okay, this person needs to do those shadow work. And right now this person is not doing the shadow work. Okay, I feel like you all are ascending. Okay, I feel like this is a time in you all's life where you're preparing yourselves for new phases in your life. You're also preparing yourselves for new unions. I'm telling you all, there's somebody coming towards you. Could be a soulmate, could be a twin flame, could be a true love. Whatever the case may be, there's somebody that's coming towards you that is divinely guided. But the thing is, is that you're going to have to practice patience and stop running back to toxic relationships. Okay, you need to let your heart heal. I feel like some of you all are addicted to hurt. Okay, it could be your childhood issues. You're addicted to relationships going bad because that's how you assume they're going to be. What you think is what is going to come to fruition. If you think you ain't shit, you ain't going to be shit. Basically, at the end of the day. If you think everybody is a dog, you're going to get a dog every single time. You think everybody a gold digger, you're going to get you a gold digger. All right, the thing is, is that you all want long lasting relationships, but you don't want to go through the process of taking your time and allowing that to happen or allowing this to come to you because you get so caught up in sex, okay, the heat, the intense affairs, and then eventually you find yourself a secret lover, okay, or you're constantly involved with someone and you discover that this person has somebody else, okay, if you want something long lasting, you're going to have to put in the work. Now, I am going to go ahead. And I'm going to pull from the Romance Angels as well as the Lover's Oracle and see what comes through for your future. Okay, give me future energy for the sign of Leo, please. Who's coming towards the sign of Leo? What are the most important messages that Leo needs to know moving forward, please? You can't make this stuff up. Didn't I just say wait and not rush into it? Not trying to move too fast. You got to take your time so that you can get one of those long lasting relationships with real love that you desire because you desire a sacred union with someone. Okay. And this involves honoring and treasuring your relationship for it's truly sacred. I'm telling you, I keep getting a strong feeling. Some of you all, there's somebody you want to go towards. Or they wants to come towards you, but this person is afraid of thinking you may not feel the same for them. Oh, Leo's y'all got new beginning again. New beginning again. I'm telling you, some of you all could either be wanting to go towards an air sign or an air sign could be coming towards you. Whatever the case may be, there is a new adventure that awaits and it's telling you all that it's time for you to embrace this, okay? Embrace it and live your dreams passionately, all right? It could be new beginnings in business as well. If it's something that you've been thinking about, okay, you've been getting confirmation after confirmation and yes, whatever it is that you want and desire at this time, go after it, okay? With full force. Because it is meant for you. Didn't. 
literally in the beginning of this reading, we talked about friends being your best support system at this time. And you're getting right here. It says, let your friends help you. Ask for and, and accept support from others. Yes. Here's the thing. Don't let that pride get in your way. All right. If you're going through it and you're hurt or somebody hurt you and you need to vent, trust me, your friends are not going to look at you as a burden. Okay. They have been through some of the same things you've been through. They can give you the advice that you need for you to move forward. Okay. Some of you may have a hard time with letting go of this person from the past that you know is no good. Okay. And you know, nobody's going to give you the truth like your friends. Okay. Nobody's going to give you truth like your family. All right. Definitely have those. Wow. What we've been talking about from the beginning, you got to love yourself first. You have to love yourself first in order for you to see what real love looks like. I'm telling you, I have it in my heart that there are some of you out there that don't think that you're, you're deserving of love. You are deserving of love. There is somebody out there that's going to love you the way that you need to be loved. But first, you got to love yourself. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Religious factors. I feel like for some of you all, the reason it doesn't work out is because you are with somebody that is not religiously equally yoked with you. Okay. What I mean is that you tend to probably date people that um, don't believe in monogamy. Okay, but you do. So you change who you are in order to make this person happy, in order to try to make this relationship work. All right. That could be one of the ways in which you do this. Okay. But it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Don't change your spiritual path for somebody. Now let's go ahead and get into tarot. Whew. Man. Like I was in a little passionate right there. Don't change who you are to make somebody else happy. Eventually, it's going to change you as a person trying to be everything to somebody who's not even deserving of you. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages, please, for the sign of Leo. What does the Leo need to know, please? What do they need to know, not what they want to know, please? Yeah, Queen of Cups energy. I feel like some of you all are very, very warm-hearted people, very giving, very, very caring Adored by many, somebody that's a very good friend. Some of you all can be very good mothers, uh, very devoted wives, okay? Very loving, very intuitive, very supportive. However, I feel like sometimes you give so much of yourself, you don't get anything back. Okay, that's that Queen of Cups energy. Very sweet, caring person. However, too giving, okay? Too giving of yourself. Somebody that um, constantly gets tricked. Constantly find out they're being in relationships where they're the third party. Constantly finding out they're being lied to, they're being used, they're being taken advantage of. Finding out that you have fake friends, people are insincere. You run into people that are, I just feel like there's a constant thing where you have to caution yourself against somebody in the end and say, damn, I wish I would have seen this sooner. I wish I would have known this sooner. Okay, I do. I feel like some of you all... Run into people that try to take advantage of you. They try to take your money, all right? They take your kindness for a weakness, all right? And it causes you a lot of emotional confusion. Um, there's a lot of obstacles that you always seem to have to deal with in regards to this, all right? Once again, you got new plans here, all right? There's hope moving forward, all right? You have that seven of swords. Yeah, it's going to be hard initially to get out there again and trust, okay? But trust and believe that you have to make the first step. The first step starts with you, all right? There is somebody that's coming towards you that's going to be uh, very mature, okay? This is going to be somebody, for you all, it could be older or they could just be, like I said, just more mature person. Um, this is somebody that's going to be very bold. This is not going to be the person that's going to be afraid to step up, all right? You got that two of wands there. And 
I feel like for some of you all, you have to be very careful about the decisions that you make because I feel like for some of you, you could have been dealing with an uh, Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini in the past, all right? And this is somebody that wants to return towards you and cause you the same pain that they put you in before, all right? So be very mindful of the people that are coming towards you. Some of you all could be dealing with water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, I'm sorry, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I'm getting Leo. I just mentioned Leo. So I do feel like some of you all were dating um, other Leos, okay? And I feel like you look too much into the past, okay? This could also be an indication that you all are some of the ones that are dealing with these childhood issues from the past that need to be addressed in order for you to move forward, okay? I feel like for some of you, you were dealing with somebody uh, that maybe chose somebody else over you, okay? Because you do have this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords in reverse, it speaks to having a fight or some type of dispute over a woman, okay? Could have been a man in the situation, but whatever the case may be, this is somebody that makes a lot of impulsive mistakes, okay? I'm, again, I'm getting air. Some of you all were definitely dealing with an air sign that caused you a lot of hurt and pain constantly. Somebody did something constantly to break your trust with them, to make you caution yourselves against them, constantly putting you in third-party situations. That's not a healthy situation, Leos. Be very careful of the person or the people that are coming back, all right? And try not to focus so much on the past, okay? Let the past be the past. I do. I feel like, <sighs> yeah. Some of you all are longing for this person or you're longing for a point in your childhood that has passed or things that are gone. Yeah, some of you all are having a very hard time letting go of a person. But I'm telling you, soulmate, soulmate energy here. You got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, okay? I do feel like this is a perfect pairing for you. Very caring, very giving person. I feel like you all are... <sighs> You're going to meet somebody that's going to be very responsible. You're going to meet somebody that's going to be very considerate of you. This person may not initially kind of come off as somebody that's that emotional. That's because they're more, their emotions, they can kind of handle them. I would say you may be the one that's more open. This could be the one that's more emotionally closed. But at the same time, this person gives you that love and the support that you need. This is somebody that's very open to your love. This is not someone who's going to come in and take advantage of you. Okay, you're going to start upgrading. No more dealing with these fools. Okay, you all are starting to deal with kings and queens. All right, leaving these pages. All right, leaving these knights behind. I'm telling you, it's going to be a very beautiful time for you all. Be mindful of your generosity towards others. There are some people that are literally set on taking um, advantage of you, basically. This could also mean that you all need to start balancing these two within yourself. All right, balancing your feminine and your masculine energy, okay? I feel like for some of you all, the feminine energy may have taken over too much, being too giving, too caring, too loving. Sometimes you have to put your guard up, okay? You can't trust everybody. So for some of you all where this is not another person that's coming into your life, this is telling you that you need to start standing up for yourself and you need to start being a better judge of character of the people that come towards you. Okay, give me some more messages, please. Give me some more messages. Oh, you can't make, man, man, wow. Y'all done did something right in life because baby, when I tell you once again, you all got the food card. Once again, new beginnings, new beginnings, new possibilities, new, pre new pleasure, new adventures are awaiting you, new opportunities are awaiting you. The thing is, is that you have to do what? See how she's standing there on that ledge? You got to step out on faith. You got to have courage, Okay. To believe and to know that you are deserving of every opportunity that comes your way. All right, you have that two of swords here. Two of swords is in the reverse. And what this means in this is that um, there's something you need to release. All right, I feel like a lot of you, like I mentioned earlier, you need to forgive yourselves. Forgive that person. Okay, definitely forgive yourselves. Forgive that person. Release your ex. Release your ex. You have that Ace of Swords here in the reverse. All right, this is speaking to power. You all need to step into your power. I feel like some of you all have. 
See how that sword is down? That means a decision has been made. Some of you all are definitely not going back to your exes. This was the final straw for this person. What they don't know is when they try to come back, they're going to get the door in their face. You've been playing the fool too many times for this person and enough is enough. You got the seven of wands. Seven of wands is in reverse. You got a lot of patience. Some of you all may still have I feel like some of you all, you still don't know. You're still kind of doubting that you can move forward. You can. You just got to get this belief system out of your head. I want to go ahead and close it off with believing your own magic, monology, spirit animal guide. And I'm spoiling you, Leos, because it took me for freaking ever to get back around to you guys. And I'm going to pull from the whispers of love. <laughs> all right what are the final messages for the sign of leo please moving forward in all of these new beginnings that are coming towards them please give me all the most important messages for the sign of leo i feel so happy at this time if you all are not in this mood right now trust me you will be it literally feels like i can take on the world right now i feel so good <clears throat> spirit animal guide let's see <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. And the most important messages, please. Most important messages. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, believe in your own magic. Mm, mm, that's what I'm talking about. You got the garden card, the one where the woman has a sword down once again, giving you confirmation of the ace of swords, okay, being down, letting you know a decision has been made, okay, because you all are stepping into your own, because you all are standing up for yourselves, what it is saying that because you all are cutting out the BS is that something lovely will grow from this. I'm telling you, when you walk away from what hurt you, it'll no longer hurt you anymore. You have stepped out of your comfort zone. See, that's the thing. Some of you all got used to being in these unhealthy relationships. You got used to the repetitiveness, used to the pain, everything. Let me tell you, step out of it. It's time for you to step up into something else. Time for you all to go towards what it is you need, you want, and you desire. Okay? You have the cat card here. It's time to strike out. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. You can't make this up. Y'all better take heed. I'm telling you, you better take heed to these messages that's coming. They ain't coming for no reason. I don't get on here and try to feed people, you know, a dream. I tell you all, I ask God, please give me the most important messages that the Leo or whoever, if I'm doing a personal reading, dear God, I ask that you give me the most precise messages that need to come through. What comes through comes out. I know it's, I'm just Jennifer and I'm a tarot reader. Okay. I just tell you what the cards say. I'm a strong believer. And I believe that what you think is what you are. Okay. And if you feel like you're somebody that deserves more and need more and this and that, you'll have it. Okay. It's all about your mindset. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I had to, whew, I had to go deep. It says, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. See what I mean? Don't hold back. Don't allow somebody decisions to change you who you are. Okay? Look at every new opportunity as a new opportunity to learn and to grow. Spend time together. Listen and talk to each other. This is what's going to happen with the right person. You're going to spend all this time with them. You're going to forget all about your past. And you're going to say, now it makes sense. I get it. I get it now. It makes sense. You put me through that so I could be ready for this. Beautiful. Last message. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have that fundamental need to take a break. Some of you all need to rest your minds. Some of you all need a serious vacation. You've been working too much. All right, doing too much. It's time for you to take a break from the world. Take care of yourselves. If you all enjoyed this, I don't know what I was about to say. What was that? It all makes sense now. 
Okay, if you all enjoyed this message, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can find the information down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comments and posted in the community tab. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I will see you all in my next one. Bye, Leos.